Next time she ordered big at the restaurant. I say, I say, yeah, you gonna go ahead, you gonna order something? She say, uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what go with, what go with lobster. I say condoms. I say, cause if you order that, we gonna have sex tonight. <laughs> needless to say, <laughs> needless to say, she didn't order that, and I never saw her again. I, I, I put that on everything, Ocho. <laughs> See, Ocho, you man, you get me on here, Ocho. I get on here with you, man. And you have me be telling a story, man. I was next time she ordered. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, bro, I swear, bro. Hey, as much as I'm a Bengals fan, because he used to torch us back in the day, bro. I love Shannon Sharp. He's funny as hell, bro. He keep it a buck, man. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump into the next video. Actually, saving them for a car right now. So instead of Benny Hunters, I was the word, but I'm trying to pay off my student loans by the end of this year. So instead of a Birkin bag, how about I get you? It's funny you say that because I'm actually trying to save up for a house. So instead of Turks and Caicos, maybe we can go to. Reach a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Man who paid bills for a certain type of woman, supportive, nurturing, taking care of the house. Taking care of the kids, supporting his dreams, supporting his vision. I'm going to pay all the bills. I'm going to need you to be 50 50 instead of hollering at me and treating me like a kid. I need you to get on board with the program as I'm paying all the bills. Bruh. What is that? <laughs> and now he hit would hit y'all with the patty cake at the end. I'm oh, mad. <laughs> yo, hey yo, bro, y'all turned up for the 2024. <laughs> Damn, hey, bro, they ain't playing games out here. I can see already 2024 gonna be something else, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cause. I knew it was when I saw this next clip. I came across this. This is going viral, you guys. This, this is what y'all came to see, man. So let's go ahead and see what this is talking about, bro. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Are you getting a 
You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Wow. Y'all heard it. Wow. Unbelievable. <clears throat> now the two, those two women in particular that walked out, one was the birthday girl and the other one didn't get anything. So them leaving, I really don't have an issue with. However, for her to sit over there and say, I don't know. I thought that was the birthday girl, so I don't understand why she got an attitude like that and walked out like that, but I guess she felt embarrassed because that's who she works with, supposedly. I think they have a, talk about some, you a podcast king, and oh yeah, and you getting this money, and you, you should just want to take care of everything. A $700 bill because of all these extra people you invited. Get that French toast out of here. He said, if I knew of that, he said, if I knew that was the case, I would have only invited you. He said, I would have just took you out to lunch. He said, but I brought my wife and I'm already paying for me and her. I'm like, and I'm paying for you too, because it's your birthday. It's like, come on, man. You add all your other friends. That looked like that was about what a, a good, what, five more people? A seven hundred dollar bill? So on average, that's about a hundred, almost a, that, that's basically about a buck. What, doing the math right, that's about a buck 40 on average between everybody. Well, I mean, uh, it will not about, about a hundred, but still like, damn. I don't know, bro. That's, that, that's crazy to me, man. That, oh, bro. 2024, bro. Already, bro. Already. You can't make this Already. shit up. You can't make this shit up. I'm like, this was sent to me, and I was just like, come on, man. Like, for real? Like, <laughs> it, it's just too soon for this, man. I, I I literally posted this on my Facebook and was like, yo, I can see already the content for, the content for 2024 is going to be off the chain. It's going to be fire. When you, when you see shit like this already, bro. Crazy, man. Let's keep it moving. Come on. I was going to take you shopping, but not no Louis Vuitton. Oh, man. Oh. I'm sorry. Bruh, but that look that she made, she said. Then you're gonna get mad because you're telling him he needs to keep up with what you got. 
I don't see no Louis Vuitton purse that you have on, boo. Look how you went to the mall and you think he needs to keep up. Shit, if you ask me, Forever 21 is too much for you, honey. <laughs> Ladies, stop asking these men to try to get you all this expensive stuff. If you can't afford it your goddamn self, he don't need to buy you that shit either. Go get your own bag and you afford it. And then just be grateful for him wanting to take you on a shopping spree, even if it's Forever 21. Girl, you're going to be single for the rest of your goddamn life doing shit like this. Fuck! What's up, y'all? So I just watched this video of this guy talking about how he was dating this, he's been dating this girl for a bit. Um, and all he asked her was to bring him some food. He didn't say, restock my refrigerator, bring me groceries. No, he said, bring me some food, please, because uh, he hasn't eaten all day. Her response to that was, if I bring you food, it's putting me in my masculine energy. And he's like, so I got to pay for it just for you to bring me food. And he says that made him view her in a different light. And I 100% agree because women nowadays, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna generalize all women, you know, but most women, y'all are just so in that mindset that everything's gotta be done for you, but you gotta do nothing but look pretty and have good kitty. Like that's so sad. If you're not able to buy a man like a cup of coffee, a twenty dollar meal from McDonald's or something when he's hungry, you should not be dating. You want a trick. You want a trick. That's what you need. Thank you. I'm glad a woman finally said this. Oh my God, and she is a cutie pie. Where is she at? Tell her to get over here. For real, man. How many, bro? The three S's, man. Remember this for the 2024, bro. On my channel, if you don't know anything else, the three S's. They want simp's suckers and sponsors aka sugar daddies that's what they want that's why i find it so funny man when uh when they sit over here and try to say don't leave with your wallet and and this and that but all women do is talk about what 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 they should be getting from men from a uh, tangible standpoint so it's like I don't know. The math don't math, man. It's like that. See, this is why another thing that you will, will learn from this channel, if you if you're new, why I always say women are walking contradictions. Because oh, you look like a punk. What you doing? You don't lead with your wallet. But every man, but you got every woman in the world all of a sudden saying, "I want a man that can provide and pay for every damn thing," and I just want to sit at home, be in my feminine energy. And it's a damn shame that something as little as you just buying a meal from me from a fast food restaurant is putting you in your masculine energy. Like, come on now. Like, that's minor. Like, chill out. Like, it just goes to show you, man, like how much hatred it is towards doing anything for a man. It's like outside of sex and just being pretty women feel like they shouldn't have to do anything else. Like, that should be enough. And then if that's the case, then you can you really blame men for not wanting to com commit to you if that's all you're bringing? Yeah, you know I mean, you're basically, like, let's keep it a buck. Like, at this point, it's damn near, like, prostitution in itself. But I digress. Let's keep it moving. really two types of women in this world. The one type that absolutely has to know how much money was spent on her engagement ring. This woman will either know how much you spent because she already had picked out the ring, or she will find out how much you spent either through blatantly asking you or just knowing the specs on the diamond. The other type of woman just wants meaning behind the ring. This meaning can come from the fact that the ring or the gems are a family heirloom, or through the fact that he finds something that really is fitting to her sense of style. For me, I'm simple. He obviously did a good job. But the thing about this second group of women is that they would say yes to a ring pop. When you get down on one knee, they're not looking at the ring first because they're saying yes to you, not the ring. 
and that the way, and that's the way it should be. But it, it's just unfortunate how materialistic the West has, has gotten. You know, I um saw a post on Facebook about a react about a video I reacted to a while back. Um, a brother that's on um eight at the table all the time. <clears throat> um, brother with the glasses and the beard. Y'all would recognize him. I think his name is Trip Fontaine, if I remember so correctly. Uh, there was a brother that had commented on he was like man y'all sure do love um, men with money and then sh the girl responded that's like um, men saying um, y'all love um, a beautiful woman and then I just kind of like I was like you know what I gotta chip in on this man because this woman ain't, ain't I, I'm like she's a beautiful woman but clearly she doesn't understand what he means when he says that The reason why you get that kind of reaction is because the kind of men that y'all are looking for are at this point are very rare and it's due to the fact that women fought to be able to get their own bag and it's continued to be sold to y'all only for y'all to turn around and say, yeah, but I still want a man that can pay for everything and I just want to have my money to myself, but I want, but I want to take half of his too. So it's like, it's kind of made things unrealistic and that's going to be something that I'm going to chime in on um, in my next video here in the next day or so. So be on the lookout for that as well. Um, I'm, I've been coming across a lot of fire content recently. So we're going to definitely dive in. And um, thank you guys um, that said y'all like the new intro, man. Um, that's going to be it going forward. Um, but like I said, man, you know, I, I, I've had, a, I've even had a few people say that, hey, man, you should change the um, music. And I'm like, yeah, but dude, if I change that music, bro, do you have any idea how many people are going to be mad at me if that I change the music? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I can tell like, yeah, you must be a new head, bro. Because I'm like, dude, it's a lot of people that's been watching me, bro. And they do not want me to change that intro music. But I wanted to add a little bit of a visual, man, because that's pretty much what's been you know that's pretty much everything that's happened like in the last year as far as 2023 goes as far as just collaborations and you know linking up with new people meeting new faces having new interactions and conversations with people all across the globe man and it's just a really dope thing to do a really dope sight to see and um definitely gonna look continue to look forward to this in my travels um as of today this is um, my last day in new orleans i'm gonna be leaving back to, go back to cincinnati in the morning um so you'll see me back home um as usual in my usual headquarters so to speak um but i'll only be there for about four weeks and then i'm right back out to thailand so all right and be on the lookout for the travel vlog channel as well and if you're new to the platform please subscribe oh geez i appreciate the love and support make sure y'all hit that bell notification that way y'all know when i'm uploading hit the like button so that way i can reach a broader audience also look out for the travel vlog channel unplugged traveler link is in the description as well as my latest mixtape neo trap volume 2 and if you want to check out any of the merch the spreadshot.com link is in the description until the next video y'all deuces <laughs>